Good afternoon uh, and good evening to everybody. This assessment of aortic valve stenosis is uh, extremely important because aortic stenosis is a fairly common condition. The three most common causes of aortic stenosis are a bicuspid aortic valve, rheumatic aortic stenosis, and which is now emerging as the most common cause is a calcific aortic stenosis. So the accurate assessment of aortic valve stenosis is crucial for the clinical decision making in patients with aortic stenosis. So what you do actually is that you take the peak gradients across the aortic valve as I'll be showing and try to get as parallel as possible from various planes and take the gradient, which is the best possible gradient. Usually it's either the apical five chamber or the apical or the right parasternal view. These two views are, are, are most commonly used, but occasionally you could use the subcostal view or you could use the right parasternal view. After that, we measure the cardiac output. As you know, that we take the LVOT diameter. LVOT diameter in mid systole, and uh, you also measure the VTI. This VTI is actually what is called the velocity time integral. So you measure it across the aortic valve, that is V2. So you have A1, V1 is equal to A2, V2, because the flow that is going from the LV output tract through the aortic valve into the aorta, that is the same. What is V1, well, what is A1, V1 is actually the flow in the LVOT. And what is small eight, this, uh, this, this A2, V2 is actually the flow across the aortic valve. So the flow across the LVOT is equal to the flow across the aortic valve. And that is called the continuity equation. So we measure the aortic valve area by continuity equation. Occasionally, if the valve is just mildly calcified, we can measure the aortic valve area by planimetry.